Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once more for another run. Let's give it a go. Let's see who we might get. And we get Tainted Samson, a character I haven't played in quite a long while, actually. So happy to jump in and give this guy a go. Always a fun character. Can be a little bit frustrating in the late game if you end up getting a bit screwed over by the, um, the constantly firing off ability that is his axe as well. These guys... Dying to stones. Have I never noticed that before? Anyways, face reward. Honestly, not great, but early on, I can respect it. Um, How easy is this to get? Hmm. Well, considering we have a half soul heart there, and considering taking damage isn't a big deal for us. Yeah, there you go. We got some locusts. Fair enough. And we got a half heart back there as well. I'm pretty happy with that. Not going to be quite the crazy OP synergy that we had last time, but I'm still happy with it nonetheless. Uh, I don't know if this is my secret room here, but I'm going to check regardless. It is. Huzzah, huzzah. Oh my god. Look at this little dude. I don't know what this is a reference to, but I love this little guy. Uh, Solar Blue Baby, is that worth a bomb? Probably not right now. Let's just carry on. As for the question of the day, as for the question of the day, oh my lord, what is your current job? And if you don't have a job, if you are in school, what is your current favourite subject? What is something that you are currently really enjoying at school? I know a lot of people really don't like school, but I, I don't know. For me personally, I had, I had a pretty decent school experience. I realise for everyone it is different. I mean, I realise there's unfortunately some bullying in schools and stuff like that, and... Some people maybe just going through anxiety or depression that's just making school very, very difficult. I, th th there's a lot of various reasons why school could be tough. Uh, so I, I appreciate if some of you have a hard time answering that question, honestly. Uh, but I'm sure hopefully, at le even if you are having a hard time, hopefully there's at least some aspect of school that you enjoy in some way. Maybe there's a teacher that goes the extra mile, or maybe there's just a subject that interests you more than the rest. I don't know. Either way, but let, let me guys, uh, you guys can let me know. Uh, unfortunately, luck plus range isn't amazing. Go down to the next floor, though. Um, and yeah, obviously, those of you that aren't at school, what are you currently doing for a job? Kind of interesting to know. I've, I've been doing quite a lot of different things. I, I kind of want to go a little bit into more of the school route stuff, because I think... I don't actually know, to be honest. Uh, I think more of you, that, more of my viewers are in school than in jobs. But then again, I checked my analytics and it does say that I have, uh, like, my, my largest age range of viewership is 18 to, like, 25. Now, I'm not sure if that's just because everyone labels their account as 18 regardless uh, to make sure they can watch restricted videos. I, I don't know. Uh, that might just be uh, fluffing the numbers a little bit, but... If that is the case, that's kind of interesting to see. I mean, I do put on like a... I, I feel like my, my, my content, I wouldn't say it's family friendly, but I think it does appeal to most age groups. And I think like there's enough intellectual conversation for it to be also tailored to some more um, mature people. Uh, I don't mean as in intellectual as in I'm I'm a Rick, Richard and Mortimer enjoyer sort of. But I, I'm also just mean we, we don't just scream we we don't just like go like the old tabuscus route or whatever and honestly it's fair play to the people that do that i used to i used to watch those youtubers when i was a kid as well i mean it's just part of growing up isn't it you end up watching people screaming at games for no reason and you for some reason find it hilariously funny even though two years later you watch them back and cringe um <clears throat> oh, another not great item here but i'll accept it i'll accept it but it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so it'd be interesting to kind of kind of hear how many people are in school versus work. But yeah, work-wise, it's going pretty well. For those of you that... Oh, God, I wasn't expecting that. Um, what exactly did I get hit by then? Did I get hit by one of these ghosty boys? Um, for those of you that don't know, I work at a, a tech sort of startup. Um, I'm an operations... Don't pick up one of those guys. That's worthless. I'm an operations manager. Um... Because I'm like, I sort of got in. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I kind of got in on the ground floor of this uh, of the startup. I I sort of joined it right as it was first created. I was like one of the four, technically one of the four founding members. I didn't actually found it. Like it, it's not based on it in like any of my ideas or anything. But I was one. I, like there was the two founders and then me and uh, my friend that's a developer uh, are the two like first employees. Um, oh god, oh god, that was close. 
We got it, we got it. Okay. Uh, ooh, eye drops is rather nice. I think I'm going to leave the devil deal. My health isn't quite there yet. And we're playing as a character that I'd like to have more red health with anyways. And yeah, I quite enjoy it. At the minute, I'm like scaling up. I'm, I think I'm going to be like chief of staff soon or something. I don't know. Um, I, like, things are scaling up and we're, we're, we're getting new customers and stuff, so I'm taking on more responsibility. But I, I quite like it. I've, it. It's not really a job role I saw myself in. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I never really, um, I never really went, like, into, because I, I did, uh, I did computer science with games development um, at university, and I never really saw myself doing something, ooh, nice. Kind of weird to have a sack room with no ability to sacrifice, but, oh. Uh. Um, okay, for some reason, the sacrifice spikes are invisible. I'm not sure exactly why that is. I hope that's not a bug with a mod I've installed recently. Um, I'm sure it is, though. I'm sure it is. I don't know what mod I've installed that's done that, but I'll, uh, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Um, but yes... It's it's going pretty well. I didn't I didn't really see myself in something so customer facing and so um so like personable, like talking to a lot of different people, talking to customers, talking to clients, um managing meetings, things like that. I really never, never saw myself in a job like that. But turns out I'm actually pretty good at it, and it's it, it's uh it's probably because I do a lot of talking in my day to day. Um, okay, I'm kind of glad that I went in here. Not a great bomb placement there, and we just got some flies. That's annoying. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I ended, I ended up being better than I thought, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, but in terms of school, I had, a, I had a pretty decent time at school. I wouldn't say it was the best. Like, I I have always, uh, hopefully this comes across in my commentary, but I've always been a pretty chill person. I, I not, not many things bother me. I'm not someone that deals with anxiety or depression a lot, which I am, like, lucky for. But um, I know a lot of people aren't so lucky. I have dealt with little doubt, uh, little bouts of it here and there, but it's never been anything too major. So I've had a pretty chilled life, and I've... I was pretty chilled in uh, in sort of school and stuff, and so because I was kind of of the the nerdy persuasion in kind of the nerdy group, I did. There was a lot of attempts. There is some weird stuff going on right now. What is? Why is your body disappearing when you start moving? Some some strangeties going on right now. Some strangeties because he wasn't even an eternal enemy. I don't know. I don't know what caused that. Um. Yeah, so I, I did get attempted bullied quite a few times, and in fact, and in fact, you'd some some may argue that it was sometimes successful. Um, in the uh... oh, that was stupid. We lost that angel deal there. I, I tried to to get a little more. Whoa. Um, I think I broke something real bad. <laughs> I think I broke something real bad. What the hell did I do? What happened here? Also, why on earth is this so difficult? How did that Poke go miss you? Oh, it's because we already have an enemy in it. It's fine. Um, what on earth is happening here? Hmm. Right, I'm just going to do something real quick. I'm going to exit my game and just quickly reboot one second. Okay, we're back. Let's continue this run. Wrong third file. Continue this run and just hope that that's sorted out. Maybe it's not. If anyone... Know, okay, it is sorted. Must have been some issue with me not uh, restarting the game after installing some mods. Strange, but understandable. Um, yeah, so I like I got attempted bullied a few times, and some would probably say successfully in some regard, but it never it never really bothered me. Never, ne never really bothered me whatsoever. Like, a lot of the time I didn't notice. It was only like on reflection that I really understood that I, I was actually being bullied, which I, I find really funny, honestly. Because um, it must have been, like, one of the biggest things for bullies is, like, getting a reaction. So it must have been just hella frustrating for bullies when they're like, hey, I'm going to bully this kid, ha 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 ha. And then I was just like, what? <laughs> I just didn't get it at all. Um, treasure room and shop spawn and shul. That's okay, but I don't need that. Check this out real quick. I will pop these pills. Bombs are key. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Piss kidneys here. Don't really care for those too much. Got a lot more to see this floor. Let's keep on going. And yeah, like uh, I, it was. It's always kind of weird in school. I don't know if it was, if it's like this for for you guys, but like I was, I was part of the the nerdy crew, but yet, like, I was like our friend group was by far the largest in the school. 
Like, like you get the popular kids and it was like six people, but then you get like the nerdy, what, what people consider the nerdy uncool kids, yet we have a group of friends that is four times the size of the cool kids group. Like, sh surely, or, or should I say the popular kids? It's like, surely we're the popular ones if there's more of us than there is of you. Like, and the thing is as well, you get the popular kids in quotations, but yet the entire fucking school hates them and thinks they're all pricks. Like, like they're all just they're all just not nice people. So it's like, you, it's so dumb. It's like you are self-appointed popular. Like the literal only people that consider you popular are you. Like the only reason other people would say that you're popular is because um, is because you might be conventionally attractive or good at sports. But otherwise, like. You're a complete flaming prick and no one likes you. So it's like, how can you be considered popular if most of the school just does, doesn't want to be around you at any point? Whereas we've got a group of friends that's like 20 people that all hang around, all hang out with each other. And like most people at least, maybe, maybe not everyone in the school likes them, but no one hates them. Whereas a lot of people hate them. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is hitting a, hitting a note with anyone. I'm not sure if this is just me, but I do find it really strange. Um, drops half of your soul hearts on the floor, spawns one half soul heart if you don't have any. Okay. Range up. Kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I just, I just find it silly. It's, it's just kind of stupid. Why are we getting pennies for destroying rocks? Or are they the fireplaces, maybe? It's potentially the fireplaces, actually. Yeah, that was just one of the things in school that annoyed me. But like I said, I, I was I was kind of one of those people that I didn't have a, a ton of friends. I had my own group, but I, I, I got along with everyone pretty well. And I had sort of this weird situation where I had like friends in pretty much like, like I make myself sound like I was really popular, but I wasn't. But um, I kind of had friends in like every sort of group because I had like my main group, which was just like the in quotations nerdy crew. But then I also had a few friends that were like into sports and stuff, which I really wasn't. But um, yeah, I did have a few friends that were like big into sports and stuff. Um, and then I had like a few a few friends that were quote, like in the popular group, but not, not the ones I was just speaking about. They were just like popular in school. Um, and yeah, it just, I, I, I kind of had friends, at least a few in, in each area. Like one of the, one of the people that I was friends with, he was a huge nerd, but he was also like, he kind of, on the surface, no one really knew, so he was like, he was quite popular, but he was like, jacked as shit. Like, where's the, okay, this is the look, Penny. Um, He was like, the strongest guy in our school by far. He was absolutely jacked. Um, Cause he, he just used to do like a thousand push-ups a day and just go to the gym all the time. Um, But at heart, he was an absolute nerd. I haven't spoken to him like, in a few years now. Like, I mean, you know, like, especially people that aren't like super, super close friends, you end up kind of losing touch with once you leave school and stuff. So I haven't spoken to him in quite a while. But last I heard, he was like, big into um, live action role play, which is fair play to him. But like, most people would consider that pretty heckin' nerdy. <laughs> so it, it, it is just funny, like, um, People make assumptions just because someone's physically fit that they're not going to be a nerd. It's like, nope. No, 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 no. He was a good laugh. Uh, and then, then, yeah, like, I kind of did the... Another, another, what I would at least... What I've seen to be a, a classic nerdy thing. Um, where it's like, going to after-school clubs is considered very nerdy. Or considered, I don't know, teacher's pet. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's not so anymore, but at least it kind of was when I was at school. But I used to go to a few of them. Um, one of the main ones being I used to go to after-school cooking. Because I, I love cooking. I've, I've spoken on this channel many times about my passion for cooking. And I think that was kind of... I already had a bit of a passion for it, but that was kind of where my passion grew. Because I got to do a lot of experimentation with different things. Because it was, it was essentially just like... You got to go and use the the school's kitchen after uh, after school hours, which was awesome. So me and like four or five friends, I don't, I don't remember exactly how many. It was somewhere around that mark. Um, would just go and um, and cook whatever we liked. You, of course, you had to bring your own ingredients. They did have some stuff. They had like some of the basics, like flowers and eggs and stuff. But you couldn't use like a ridiculous amount. But it just meant we could go and all piss about for the afternoon uh, for like a few hours after school ended and just cook some nice food. And I, I really, really enjoyed that. It was it was a lot of fun. I would very much like to take Diplopia here. So I'm just gonna grab it. 
Um, try and get our angel deal here if we can. And see if we can duplicate something in there. Or grab multiple items, whatever we want to do. Yeah, so I, I really enjoyed that. And <laughs> Ooh, definitely going to take this. I do love the, uh, the, the friendship necklace, but this is far, far better. Um... There was a few things that I remember from that that were really funny. Like, one time we had, like, a bunch of leftover extra ingredients. So we just kind of yeeted them around the school as we were leaving. Because, obviously, there was no one, no teachers there or anything to, to watch and make sure we weren't, like, doing anything we shouldn't. So we just had, like, bit, bits of bacon and stuff that we were just, like, like yeeting on the school walls. And they, like, attached to the pipes and just stayed there and, like, got all moldy and horrible. And, like... <laughs> It was so high up. It's like people must have been wondering what the hell happened here. It was really funny. And there was like a, a zucchini that we like dropped right near the entrance to the school and stuff. I, I, I don't know why we found it so funny back there, but we did. We did. I was also another kid that like I was also kind of like one another one of those kids that I didn't really. Um, I don't think this is secret room, but I'll check it. Uh, I didn't really get in trouble very often. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say I was teacher's pet, but I was fairly. I wouldn't say quiet. But I was fairly reserved in class, so I, I was, like, well-behaved sort of thing. Um, hey -o. Second time this run. Ooh, actually. That was stupid of me. I think this room's one of mine, you know. It looks to be one of mine. Thank you for the pennies. In fact, we should destroy all of these and see if we can upgrade our fate reward, dude. Because we're, yeah, there you go. We're only one penny off, and we got him. We got him. Right, let's just quickly go back to the shop real quick. Um, yeah, and I only ever got... Oh, my God. Evil. I only ever got detention once. I think I have told the story on the um, on the series once before, but I'll mention it again anyways. Um, so I only ever got detention once. Really? Fetch reward? D sewing machine. What? Why do you exist? Like, if everyone's raving. Oh, get sewing machine. Get sewing machine. And it doesn't work with 95% of the base game familiars. Ugh. It's just, come on now. <laughs> it should at least work with all the base game familiars, I think. Come on. I get that it's a lot of work, but, like, please. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I've, I only ever got uh, detention once, and it was only, like, a, a like a half an hour after school detention sort of thing. It wasn't anything crazy. Um, ooh, do you know what? I will, I will take this. Turn them into burn hearts filled with rotten hearts. I like the idea behind that. Um, although we didn't get any flies this room. I don't know why. We do need some more damage. That's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, there's our flies. Okay. It's, it's, it's on room completion. I thought it was on room entry. Grab that real quick. Ooh, baby, it's an almond milk. You know me. Love some almond milk. That's Crooked Penny. I quite like Crooked Penny. I do, I do. But... I will hold off until we see what we get for our angel deal. I will hold off for now. Yeah, um, and so so basically the reason that I got attention is because there was this girl, um, I'm not gonna mention her name, but there was this girl in my in, in my school that went to my primary school as well, and she was a nuisance. She like, on the first day of school, for some reason, latched onto me. And, like, I, we were friends. Like, I wasn't... I, I'm not going to say we weren't friends at all. But, like, she latched onto me and kind of, like, assumed we were going out. Um, and we just were not. Like, we weren't going out. And she, for some reason, assumed that we were. And eventually I had to just be like, Y'all stop. This... No. <laughs> Please. Just stop. Um, and she, she was just generally, like kind of annoying all the time and one one time in science class i can't remember why but we were outside i don't remember why exactly we were outside but we were doing some sort of experiment i think it might be like a bottle rocket or something like that i don't know we didn't get an angel deal either which is annoying so we can't take crooked penny um yeah we were doing like an experiment outside or something and Everyone was just kind of messing around because, you know, if you bring if you bring a bunch of like 13 year old kids outside for a lesson, you're not going to get anything done. They're going to mess around like crazy. Like, what are you thinking, teacher? That's a that's a terrible idea. <laughs> and so we were all just messing around as predicted. Um, and I kind of found a, there was like a two litre bottle full of like, I don't know if it was water or something, but there was a two litre bottle that was full of some some liquid. I don't remember what it was. Um, and 
I was like, I don't know, it'd be fun to kick this. And so I did. And it very, very, very narrowly missed this girl's head. And I mean very narrowly. Like, I think she turned around because someone shouted as it was coming towards her. And she just managed to miss it. But of course, the teacher saw this because there was commotion, because there was people yelling. And immediately assumed that I did it aiming for her head. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of aiming in her direction somewhat intentionally. Um, but... I wasn't aiming it for her head, um, and yeah, I got in trouble for that, obviously, that's fine, I kind of accepted that, but that's like the only time I ever really got detention. I did get, I suppose I kind of got detention a little bit once before, uh, another time, because, ooh baby, that's what I'm talking about. I did get detention like one other time, because uh, I never did any of my maths homework, not even once. Like we had this maths website, I don't remember the name of it now. It's called, like, Wii Maths or something like that. I, I really don't remember the name of it at all. But, um, I just never did any of my work on it. Ever. <laughs> I literally, I just told the school that I couldn't, like, my login didn't work. And for some reason, they just believed me. And I never did maths homework once. It was awesome. Um, and, like, the first, like, two times, maybe three times, I got, like, did, I got, like, 15-minute detention, um, during, during our, our break. For not doing my homework, but then, af like, literally after that point, I um, I never got attention again for it, and I never did any math homework. It was awesome. It was super, super great because homework is stupid. Like, I, like some people get into adulthood and think like, oh well, maybe maybe homework did help, or some adults will say, oh, well, homework does help you. No, no, do the learning in school. <laughs> oh, hello. Do the heckin' learning in school. Why on earth do I have to come to my, my come to my humble abode and do heckin' homework? That's stupid. Cracked key. Right, give me that bad boy. Give me that bad boy. I definitely need some damage and fire rate ups here. Fire rate not so much, obviously, but damage definitely. I could have maybe diplopiated that. Maybe. I should probably go and bomb that other keeper, dude. But yeah, it's just like... Why, why are you sending me home with work that I'm supposed to do outside? Like, what is this? I, I understand that some jobs you do have to do work from home. But, come on now. Just, just stop. <laughs> just stop. Um, damn it, I was hoping to buy that soul heart. Let's go and try and bomb this one now. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Grab that real quick. See if our item room's over here. We, we do have a 100% chance for an angel deal this time. I don't know what you do. I do not care to find out. Okay, apparently you just split into a hell of a lot of boys. Dude, come over here, spider. There's no need for you to be the way you, the way that you are right now. I actually love uh, almond milk with this. It's it's precious. This is set, it's not almost definitely secret room. Thank you. Ooh, it's big poop secret room with a lot of happy dips. Damn it, we already found petrified poop. Ooh, I've got mini menu on now. I forgot that I installed that. Little baby menu. Also, we opened up a red room there. Check it out. We got a Dormamic in here. Ow. But move out the way. These turrets are insatiable. Stop sucking me. I want to place a bomb. I don't want to get moved out the way. Ooh, double fly production. That is quite a good idea. But I, I don't know. The red rooms are fun. The red rooms are fun. Right, let's make our way back real quick. One moment. Let's carry on. I've only got half an hour for this recording, so I don't want to take my time too much. I don't want to take my time too much, but 
That doesn't mean I'm not going to backtrack over this way to get my item room. Do not fret. Do not fear. Hopefully our angel deal here ends up being something mighty saucy. I keep thinking these burn dudes are like eternal versions of like the boom flies. Just because they're so white. Might be a bit silly. Good thing is we're at least getting damage when we get hit. Oh wait, no we're not. This isn't... Did I... Was I talking about bloody lust earlier? I probably was, wasn't I? I this character doesn't have bloody lust. I'm stupid. Ooh. I will say, euthanasia plus a good amount of luck, of which we currently have five, plus almond milk. Quite a good synergy. I will say fate's reward, not so good of a synergy. <laughs> fate's reward is firing very weak tears now. Ooh. Sister Viz. Hello. I, I will respect you, Sister Viz. You are what you are. I'm hoping the euthanasia shots provide us some nice amount of damage here. Uh, I did think... I, I think I did more damage to you, didn't I? You are going to roll at me, but I think we've got enough knockback to keep you at bay. It really depends on where you decide to brimstone. Like, that's fine. I don't really understand what the eternal versions of you guys are doing right now. It doesn't seem like much. Oh, that was a, that was a little saucy, my dude. I have to say, that was a little saucy, my guy. You didn't really need to do that. There you go, we got him. Not too many hits in the bucket for us there. Cat now says, I'm just going to leave in case I want to duplicate that. Do you know what? I'm fine with duplicating these. In fact, I'm going to take both of these. Two seven seals is a lot of fun to me. And so, unfortunately, we can't crack this open. But yeah, two seven seals sounds like a lot of fun to me. Uh, we don't have a, a space bar item we can take this floor, so let's just keep on going. We want to try and utilize the shops when we can here. We want to try and utilize the shops. Just because we've got Keeper's Sack now. I am absolutely loving the, the limited amounts of lag that we're getting right now. It's not no lag, but it's a lot less than it had been previously, so I'm very happy with that. More money is great. Sadly, we're picking up coins in a room that has no ability to spawn a red room, which is just upsetting. Did that lose as a soul heart or gain as a soul heart? I can't really tell. I don't know if euthanasia can proc on our axe swings. Oh, it can. It most certainly can. It just did. I, I don't think our... Do our bodies change to the same... They're both pestilence at the minute. Do they both always change to the same one? Okay, I'm thinking that we found a, a pretty saucy setup here. Where we're able to stay in our uh, axe mode for quite a long amount of time. I'm not liking these airstrikes, I will say that. So here's our shot. Beautiful. Sharp plug, not really that good for us, unfortunately. I mean, to be fair, buying it to... Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy it just to spend the money. See, we gained damage out of that. I think that's super valuable. Super duper valuable. We don't need a lot of damage, I'll be honest. If we can get ourselves up to like three damage by the end of the game, I'd be pretty happy. Do need a little, more, little bit more HP though, so that's nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. But yeah, for all of you that are, that are really struggling with school at the minute, I do, I do understand the struggle. I like... I never had a super hard time with, like, subjects or anything. I, I, I definitely will say I um, I really did struggle with English, which is kind of funny because I am English. But no, I, I it always makes me think. I've never seen uh, King of the Hill, and I really want to at some point. I need to get into that show. It's, it looks amazing. Um, but one of the clips from it is um, where... Uh, where Hank is speaking to Bobby, his son. And he, like, gets, like, a... He gets, like, a a really bad grade in English, and he just, Hank just says to him, but Bobby, you speak English, and that's, that's what I feel like every time I tell someone I did bad at English. But Bobby, you speak English. So funny. So yeah, I did, I did pretty terribly at that. I actually did do some, like, extra tutoring when I was in primary school, when I was a lot younger, and I also did, um, what they called intervention. Um, at, at my school, which essentially basically was 
they brought in a bunch of teachers that were much better than the ones that were actually employed at my school. So they brought like outsiders, part, like brought them in part time and they taught us. Um, and it was like a class specifically for people that were really bad at subjects. But for some reason, you had to do maths and English. You couldn't do one and the other. Um, so basically, I absolutely shat on everyone at maths. Like I was, I was pretty good at maths in school, so I just blazed my way through everything. But then at English, I sucked just as hard as everyone else. Um, but they did this weird thing. There was this one teacher we had. He was really enthusiastic. I actually really liked him. But he did this really annoying thing where he kept telling us all we could get A's. And I'm like, shut up. No, we can't. Like, the entire reason we are all in this class is because we can't get A's. Stop telling these kids they can get A's. They can't. Like, it's such a bad... Like, I understand being motivating. Oh, that was a really bad hit for me there. And I ended up placing it back over here anyways. Okay, I'm going to stop that now before I die. Lover's card, good, good. Yeah, um, it, it just it just really annoyed me. It's like this is literally a class specifically made for struggling students that cannot get high grades, and you are telling them all you can all get A's if you try hard enough. It's like no, we fucking can't. <laughs> That's the exact reason we're in this room. Stop telling people that. That's not a good idea. Like. Telling them that they can get a passing grade and being confident, hey, you can, if you work hard, you can pass. Like, that's, that's fair enough. That's, that's, that's great. But saying you can get A's, no. No, we can't. We would be in the top set if we could get A's. You stupid. <laughs> that was just, just really annoy me. We also, because these teachers were like hired in and they were like, they, they were they were heavily required because basically um, when the school gets like reviewed to make sure it's doing well, to make sure it's like teaching kids properly and stuff, our school didn't get a great review. Um, so they kind of needed to, I, mean, I actually quite liked my school, but like overall it didn't get a great performance review. Um, so when they brought in these superstar teachers to teach us, they kind of had to keep them, which basically meant they weren't fireable, which basically amounted to a few of the teachers really not giving a shit. So we had one guy that was Scottish, um, and he would just swear all the time. He would just swear literally all the time. Almond milk. I threw my bomb in the wrong direction. Yeah, he would just swear literally all the time. It was great. <laughs> It, like, someone would be talking to me, like, for fuck's sake, shut up. Which, obviously, it, at school level, you just can't really do. But he, he just did not give two flying fucks. Um, let's grab We Need to Go Deeper. I haven't really used it since uh, thingy. Let's, uh, we need to find, like, a floor decal. Is this one? Yeah. If you use it on a floor decal, you get um, a guaranteed crawl space once a floor. That's pretty useful. Thank you for my freezer, baby. Thank you, thank you for my freezer, baby. And we go. But yeah, I, I, I mainly did intervention for English, but it was just kind of re... I just found it really strange that they they made you do English and maths, even if you were good at one and bad at the other. I think it's because generally most of the kids in there were, um, were bad at both. Like, there was, there was obviously a few kids in there that were just, like, just misbehaved all the time. Um... But, yeah, I think it's because a lot of kids were bad at birth. But, like, for me, it just made no sense whatsoever. Get off on. Thank you. Just made absolutely no sense. Lost one of those burn hearts already. But I've got a black heart of it. Dude, what's left in this room? Oh, there's buttons. Okay. That's fair. You can't put bloody creep on the button. I can't... I can't get the button. You little... You little goober. It cannot be done. So I would say that we're in a 
somewhat problematic situation. Our runs are actually not bad, but we really do need a lot more damage than we currently have. Our damage is not good. And we are like... We are like nearing the end of the run already. Uh, this is a decal, right? There you go. It's all just babies. How the hell do I get up to that then? Is that like just with flight maybe? Yeah, that must be just with flight. But what? one more baby and we get conjoined. Kind of nice. Destroyed. When we enter this mode, we are golden, baby. We are golden. Aw, oh, you bastards. Okay, we've got our boss. I didn't realize it was Mum's heart already. I'm ill-prepared. I am ill-prepared. I mean, I suppose I can use some bombs here and there. They do pretty good damage. Oh, there you go. That This is actually fine. If we're not doing a ton of damage just because of the boss armor, we're doing enough. Oh, the bomb. Did that even hit? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, but our uh, whack-a-mole is about to start. Oh, it doesn't matter. We killed her first anyways. Good, good. Magic sword has been unlocked. Do we want to do the hush? Do we want to do the hush? Probably not. I'm going to say no. I realize we need the completion marks, but honestly, it's going to take a long time. To do the hush. I think euthanasia is the, is currently the savior of the run. If we didn't have euthanasia, we'd be having so much of a harder time. Tell you what, if these guys would stop jumping, that'd be nice. Okay, quickly pop that. Do you know, I've never had one of these chests pay out positively. Never. Oh, we can't use uh, the shovel in here. I kind of forgot the shovel didn't work on these floors. That is... A mighty shame. That was a very bad bomb placement by me. Yeah, Euthanasia is really saving the day because it can one-shot anything no matter the damage of the tier. Let's check this out. A three-room rerolls all pickups. We'll at least try that. Uh, that would have unlocked a red room had there been one in this room. Sad times once again. Our health has never been great this run either, has it? Oh god. A lot of explosions going on. More bombs is good for the boss. Because I think Isaac's going to be slightly problematic. I don't know. Maybe maybe our little horseman dudes are actually going to do a really good job. They did a, they did a pre pretty good job on Mother, so... On Mum's Heart, sorry. So maybe they'll do better than I'm expecting. And we, we, we've got to realise as well that we've basically got, like, the full duration of our Smack Smack... Uh, like invincible because he can't hit us. We just knock back all the shots. Can you stop spawning babies, please? The amount of babies you are spawning is is bordering on rude. Also, what the hell's hitting me? I am confused by what hit me a few times there. I, again, it's probably just me being absolute dude. Why did my bomb get knocked back at me then? It's probably me being absolutely basic as fuck and just not understanding, not not seeing what hit me. But still, like we, we've lost a lot of HP here. We killed him here, though. Honestly, looking not great for next floor, especially considering we've currently got Rotten Heart, which obviously take double damage, so... We'll see how this goes. This is very good. In fact, I think all of these are very good. Deadeye is huge for us. That's kind of the damage boost we needed. Contagion's kind of one of those ones where it's like, it's probably not going to matter in most of these rooms, but in the smaller rooms with enemies that you get on this floor sometimes, it's going to make a big difference. Okay. Probably should have focused on you first, but there you go. 
Don't laser me, boy. Ow. Walk right into that explosion. Slows down all of them for 50%, making them leave poison glass cloud gas clouds behind them. That could be pretty useful for the boss. If we make it that far. That is a lot of jumpies, boys. Also, our swings are not very useful right now. We can actually get one of you. Honestly, the damage is helping so much. And we, like, basically constantly have dead eye as well, because we miss shots, but yeah, it's fine, because we, like, we reset the shots straight away. There was another card in this room somewhere. That's the chariot. Chariots may be good. Let's realize we can knock back their shots if they come at us. We'll be fine. That did unlock another room. God damn it. Stop unlocking red rooms in rooms that have no ability to have red rooms. This trinket is trolling me. It keeps giving me the sound effect and I'm like, ooh, where, where? And it's like, nowhere. I lied. Did one of those bosses die already? Wow. Opened up a secret room randomly. Kidney stone could be pretty interesting. Could also be terrible, but it could be pretty interesting. It does give us a redonkulous fire rate when it procs, so... I'll, I'll say that's pretty positive. We just gotta realize when it procs is the only problem. But yeah, Contagion in rooms like this is pretty good. Baby plum do 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 plum do 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 God, remember that? That was awful, wasn't it? The days of that being everywhere. Just the worst. Okay, so we've got our boss. One twenty volt. That's a cracked key. That's a double monstro, that is. This is a not so great fight for us right now. There's a lot of creep on the floor. Okay, I've I've actually done something I really wanted to do though. This actually kind of was useful, yes. I managed to clear out all of my bro uh, my rotten hearts, which I was really hoping I could do before this fight. Right, so there's all enemies by 50%. This should help. Don't know where this bomb's gonna go, but I'll place it down and see. But he does leave a creep trail now, I think, or a poison gas trail, but he doesn't move yet, so that's fine. I think we should be fine here. The health is a little worrying. I don't even know if it works, you know. There doesn't seem to be any gas cloud or any amount of slow applied to this fella. Whoa! Holy shit, you see how fast I was firing that then? That was kidney stone. Holy shit, that was so funny. Okay, we got him. A little bit tricky, but we got quite a lot unlocked there. I hope you guys did enjoy a very, very nice little run. A good few things unlocked, and I'll see you guys in the next one.